So the other night I went outside and my back patio doorstep uh, works as a light trap when I have the light on, the light reflects off a white wall. And often I'll see various moths, beetles and bugs congregating on the wall under the light. And on this night I spotted this guy um, and at first I thought it was some kind of assassin bug or some other kind of bug that maybe I hadn't seen before. So I had a closer look and on closer inspection I was very interested to see that it was a bull ant um, missing her abdomen, um, a gas star. So I collected um, the little guy and um, put her in a plastic container um, because I had read previously that the gaster contains um, you know, the ant's hard digestive system um, and of course the bull ant sting which if you've seen some of my other videos um, they use very well. So I put her in there and at first um, she displayed um, you know most of the common bull ant behavior. She um, was fairly ferocious, um, curious, um, moved around quite a bit um, but she quickly became, became quite subdued and um, I'd collected bull ants before just to have a close look at them and they um, run around exploring um, for quite a long period of time so um, that was probably one thing I, I noticed straight away that maybe she didn't have um, or didn't want to um, sort of spend the energy that she had. So basically um, I just wanted to see how long she could survive um, without the gaster. I had a close look at the um, the petiole um, that joins to the gaster and it was all sort of dried up and shriveled. I'm not sure um, typically you know how long um, you know it takes for that to dry dry out but um, she may have been um, in this state uh, for you know a couple of hours or even longer um, from when I actually collected her. Um, I'm not sure how she lost her um, gaster. Um, it may have been, um, you know, due to, you know, an attack of, um, you know, another predator, um, like a lizard um, or something like that. I'm not sure that there would be many lizards out at night. So um, something has, um, you know, attacked her and she's lost that. But um, what is interesting is how long will she be able to survive without the gaster? And um, I jumped on some forums to try to find out because I thought, you know, if you, if um, an ant lost its gaster, then um, it it wouldn't survive for very long. And on the forums, people were saying um, that they reckoned that would, she would, um, that an ant would last for a couple of hours, um, or you know, even longer. So I put my phone and um, did a little kind of timestamp of um, when roughly I collected her. And for the following day, um, you know, I monitored her, you know, every couple of hours just to see how she was going. And um, it was apparent that possibly her energy levels were dropping because when I opened the lid, she still remained fairly subdued, although she did move around quite a bit, but nothing compared to um, what you would see from a normal bull ant. And... Um, about 32 hours later, actually this morning when I got up, which is about 32 hours after capture, she was dead. So I'm not sure um, exactly when it was, but I'd say probably roughly around the 30 hour mark because I did check it before I went to bed. And um, so it's interesting to see that um, an ant um, or a bull ant can survive uh, for such a long period of time um, off the energy reserves um, and the nutrients um, already within their system. Um, I actually put a little um, cotton bud with some honey water in there because I thought maybe um, some sugars and stuff may be able to be um, absorbed uh, before it reaches a gaster. So I, I'm not quite sure about that, but just to give every kind of fighting chance. But it's interesting um, to see this kind of behavior. I would never chop off an ant's gaster just to see how long they would survive. And um, I thought this was a great opportunity just to check out, um, you know, how long um, how long they could could live in um, in such a state. Um, so yeah, if you've got any similar observations um, or have um, noticed this um, before, please leave it in the description below. I'd love to love to find out more about it.
Thank you very much.